All right, everyone. This is Rick. Well, I've started uh, bow number two, and I'm using red oak again. This time I bought a one by two, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually gonna make it more like a long bow. It's still gonna be a little bit of a flat bow, but it's I'm making it more in the design of a long bow. So I've gone ahead and cut it. What I did is I shaved or I, I split the one by two down to a half of an inch by measures out at an inch and a half naturally. So I cut it down at a half of an inch. So with that other piece, the little bit less than a quarter, I've taken it and I've made like a laminate in the middle of my riser. So I took it and you can see right here that I've already cut my my fade so when I when I create my riser uh, I'm hoping to see a contrast right where the the uh, laminate my thin piece of wood goes I'm hoping that there's a uh, a contrast to give it a little design anyway I glued it all together and then last night I marked it all out and uh, you know me, I like to go down to a three-quarter inch knock. So, like I said, I've got all my marks. I've got everything. Uh, I'm hoping that because I've already cut this down, that that uh, it keeps me somewhere in the upper 40s to the low 50 pounds. Uh, I've already bent it, and it feels pretty good. It's still got a little bit of strength to it. But it's not as rigid as my bow that I kept at three quarter inch and shaved it down. So, uh, like I said, this is uh, bow number two. I'm gonna start on it today. Probably take a jigsaw and, and cut my my lines out here for my riser, and I'm also gonna cut my limbs, and then I'm gonna start uh, cleaning it up, start tillering. So this is bow number two, and uh, I'll keep you guys uh, up on my progress. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye.